So welcome to my class in continuation with correlation, which we did in the last class. We were doing Spearman's uh, rank correlation. Now, what is correlation? Again, let me just, it is the, re the relation between variables, how they react to each other. If they go in the same, if they go in the same direction, then it is positive. If it's, they're going in opposite directions and it's negative and if there's no if they don't agree at all it's no correlation but in this we are talking about rank correlation in which we measure the uh, we see the relationships or correlation between attributes so in this numerical which i've taken from uh, you can see the ncrt which is on uh, uh, the judges, pair of judges, how they look at a beauty contest and what are the rankings given by them. So let's just see what it is. So once again, techniques of measuring correlation. We did scatter diagram, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation and we are doing Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. And in this, we are doing the, in Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, there are three ways of doing it. When ranks are given, when ranks are not given, and then or when ranks are repeated or equal ranks. But in this, like in the last class, we did about one pair of judge um, who had the same numerical actually. But I've added another judge here. So here the ranks are given by these judges for these competitors, one to five. We call them one to five. So this is the numerical so five persons are assessed by three pair of judges in a beauty contest find out which pair of judge uh, uh, judges has the nearest approach to the perception of beauty so let's just take what is d difference between r1 minus r2 and what is the formula it is 1 minus 6 into sigma d square divided by n cube minus n which we've done in the last class. So I'm just going to, I'm sure that you've gone through it and I'm sure you'll be able to understand. So I'm not going to really reiterate much of it, but still just look at this now. Now, uh, so once we've seen this numerical, so what we've written the ranks as one, two, three, contestants are one, two, three, four, five. So they must be having it on their, uh, t-shirt or whatever uh, sashay one two three four five they are marked they're given as they come with their uh, as what they are named as in numbers now judge a now what does judge a do the judge a looks at the contestants as they come for the first round and of on the round and marks them marks them as one two three four five judge b VC has given the second ranking to the first contestant, fourth ranking to the second contestant, one ranking to the third contestant, fifth ranking to the fourth contestant, and third ranking to the fifth contestant. And now we are, we'll call it judge A as rank one, rank two. Okay, so difference between R1 and R2. This is what we get. And then what we do is we square them up. So we got it D squared. Okay. So this is how we do. So we square them up, each one of them. And then we added sigma D square we got to do. Sigma D square. And we got 14. N is 5. So what do we do? 1 minus 6 into 14 divided by n cube that is 125 minus 5 so what you get is 1 minus 84 divided by 120 so rank a correlation Spearman's rank correlation is 1 minus 0 0.7 so ultimately what we get is positive 0 0.3 but that shows a very low degree of correlation okay so that's a low degree of correlation now let's just take the other one now let's just take the other pair of judges. So 
Now here we will find rank correlation between judge A and judge C. So the contestants are the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Judge A has given them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We know that. What has judge C given? 1, 3, 5, 2 and 4. That means for the first content contestant judge C has given rank 1. To the second rank 3. To the third rank 5. To the fourth rank 2. To the fifth rank 4. So the difference is rank 1. We call it rank 1. Uh, ruling of the first judge and the ruling of the second rank 2. So R1, R2, R1 minus R2. So we get 0, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, 4 minus 2 is 2 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So when you add this up, one, okay, we square them up then 1, 2 2 is a 4, 2 2 is a 4, 1 1 is a 1. What we get is 10. Now look at this. So I worked it out this side. I hope you can get this. We'll come to this side now. Now look at this. So we're going to use a formula. 1 minus 6 into sigma d square upon n cube minus n. So 1 minus 6 into 10 upon 120. Okay, is equal to uh, 1 minus 60 upon 120. And what we get is 0 0.5. So 1 minus 0 0.5 is positive 0 0.5. So what do you find here? That there is, uh, they seem to agree somewhat. Right? So these judges, the rank correlation between them is 0 0.5. That means, uh, that they seem to be better better than the uh, first one, the first pair, Judge 1, Judge A and Judge B. So Judge A and C are more compatible regarding their judgment of the contestants. Alright, now let's just take the third one. That is between Judge B and Judge C. So let's just find out about Judge B and Judge C. Okay. So we are going to do that now. I hope you can see that. Judge B and Judge C. So here we go. So the contestants are given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Judge B has given uh, the second rank to the first contestant, fourth rank to the second contestant, first rank to the third contestant, fifth rank to the fourth contestant and Third rank to the fifth contestant. Now judge C. What does it do? What What is his ruling? So judge C. Let's just see judge C. So to the first contestant. He's ranked. Been given a rank 1. To the second third. To the third contestant fifth rank. And to the fourth contestant second rank. And to the fifth contestant fourth rank. Now the difference between R1 minus R2 is 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus 5 is 4, and 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So then look at the difference. There's quite a lot of difference. So, okay, 1, uh, we square them up. 1 runs a 1, 1 runs a 4, 4 is a 16, 3 is a 9, and 1. So when we add this up, that is sigma d square, what we do, and here is sigma. So this is how we will work it out. Alright. So let me see if you can see what, what is written here. So 6 into 28 as you saw. Okay. Now let's just work it out. So we know the formula. The formula is given. The same formula is going to follow. 1 minus 6 into sigma d squared n cube minus n. So this is how we're just going to put the values. 1 minus 6 into 28 divided by 120. So it is 1 minus 168 divided by 120 and what we get is 1.4. So 1, so that, that comes to 1.4. This comes to 1.4. So 1 minus 1.4 is equal to 
and minus 0 0.4. So, there seems to be a negative correlation. Okay. So, in this, we, we find that the, uh, these people, this one, these pair of judges, there's a negative correlation between B and C judge. Okay. So, based on this, I, I want you to even pause the video, write down these, do this numerical and go ahead. Go to your book, do another numerical based on this. So, out of the three, we find that the perceptions of judge A and C are the closest, that is 0 0.5. And judge B and C seem to have very different tastes. They are not compatible at all. All right, isn't it so interesting? So, once again, let me just tell you that uh, rank correlation, Spearman's rank correlation uh, was developed by the British psychologist C. Spearman. Here, it is used when variables cannot be measured meaningfully as in case of, say, uh, as, as we, can, uh, we can do it in uh, case of price and income rate, etc. So, here, what we do is, because they are attributes, we have to give them, it's important that we give them ranks. So, so we quantify qualities, such as here in this case, it's beauty, honesty, etc. So, ranking is a good alternative to quantification of qualities. Uh, and uh, sometimes the correlation coefficient between two variables with extreme values may be quite different from the coefficient without the extreme values. So under these circumstances, rank correlation provides a better alternative to simple correlation. Okay, so then that becomes simpler and easier than the other one. So its formula has been derived from simple correlation coefficient where individual values have been replaced by ranks. These ranks are used for the calculation of correlation and this coefficient that is rank coefficient provides a measure of linear association between ranks assigned to these units, not their values. Okay. So, it is the product moment correlation between the ranks and the formula as we just did, it is 1 minus 6 into sigma d square upon n cube minus n, where n stands for the number of observations and d is the deviation of ranks assigned to a variable from those assigned to the other variable. Okay, and in the next one, what we will do is when ranks are not given, so how do we turn them into ranks but before that please open your books take an illustration from your own book do it and then go to your exercise and try to do these and I'm sure you'll be able to do it